Hello, I'm Angus. Uh, I'm an artist, author and award-winning food producer. My work is greatly inspired by the rural environment. Uh, it's artisan and regional food and drink. It's diverse nature and rich rural heritage. The exhibition goes under um, the project called Our Isles, which we set up, which explores the rural life. As well as the exhibition, uh, the project extends to an online editorial called Stories Within Our Isles, which brings in lots of other artists whose work is also inspired by the rural environment. Um, and also, most recently, our published um, poetry book, which includes my poetry and Lily's printmaking as well. We travelled the British countryside, exploring its diverse landscape and rural traditions. Most of the time we managed to try our hand at all of the crafts which we've evoked here in the exhibition, um, from baking in Suffolk, uh, cheese making in Shropshire. I love British cheese and I'm fascinated by the regionality of it. For example, the guys which I've captured here are all very much local to Newtown. So we've got Hafford and Kiridigion um, and we've got a couple of Shropshire cheesemakers. At the top here we've got Martin Moyden who makes particular um, Shropshire cheeses, so he does a reek in blue, reek in white, um, and this is him actually making, I think he's making his soft cheese here called uh, Shrewsbury Feta, which is amazing. It's, I took my medium format camera, which I love, and um, I just thought the way um, I wanted to capture it was very much like a kind of a painterly oil painting. Uh, the third photograph here is Hafod cheese, which is a Welsh cheese organic cheddar. Uh, made from their Ayrshire cows, so Ayrshire milk has got a very rich buttery content um, to it, so it produces a lovely rich cheese. Um, it's, it's made by the uh, producers Patrick Holden and Becky Holden, that's just them um, in front of their Ayrshire cows in their Welsh landscape, which is beautiful. Uh, we also went to go and see John here, he's, a, he's one of the, well, one of the last eel catchers in the UK. I spent the day with him starting in the very early morning, um, going to meet him in a, in a secretive place because eels are very um, sought after these days. He, he uses GPS now to uh, track his nets underneath the, the drain of the, of the water. Um, so we were doing that all day and it was amazing because uh, the way he was connected to the landscape is that he, he knew about the lunar cycles and how the eels follow um, the tidal flow. The eel catcher. Come early dawn or fallen night, he sails alone with dogs alight, hoping to prize these fenland loaves of its kind that slides with the lunar flows. I think what, what started off was we started doing the poetry and the printmaking as a passion project yeah. and we had a body of work. I think we had about, you had about 10 prints, I had about 10 poems and Pavilion loved it and wanted us to do around 30. So then we thought that we'd have to kind of travel with British Isles and meet 30 people who had a real deep connection to the landscape, so yeah, kind of expanded sure, it, didn't we? Made sure we tried our hands at each thing. So the process of printmaking is a very slow process. Um, I'm not the most patient of people, but I have a lot of patience for creating the prints just how I like them to look. Um, so I'll take usually a whole few days to figure it out. Um, so take Max, for example, we visited him in the vineyard and we've been to see him quite a few times um, and Angus took quite a few photographs of him and then I was able to work from these photographs with some of my, just my thoughts on the day as well and then map it out with sketches and then once I've sketched a composition that I like, transfer it onto print 
um, and it does take quite a few days to get done, but it's a lovely thing to produce. The second collection in the exhibition is called Art and Nature, uh, a collection of my photography that explores the artistry of the rural environment. Uh, it essentially is my response to exploring the British Isles, uh, capturing and expressing nature's own artistic forms and encouraging the appreciation of the natural environment, um, its intricacies and its fragilities. We have always found nature to be a constant source of solace and inspiration when we walk the valleys of the River Dee in Wales or if we go to the Anglesey coastline or the Snowdonian mountain range. Uh, it's just always a pleasure capturing its transient landscapes and conceptualising its sculptural forms. Um, a lot of these are quite minimalist landscapes, so um, for example the the nasturtiums which I captured was just after a recent shower and I just thought the wonderful miniature sculptural forms which the water collected on each palm of nasturtium. Um, obviously local here to Wales, dry stone walls are everywhere and I should find them such a beautiful art piece of the landscape. Um, and here, these two here are from um, Abba Frau, specifically the dunes and the, stand, the sands and I just find them amazing how they're constantly changing. All of this photography and art in nature is all about appreciating uh, nature and encouraging the exploration of it. For the majority of the exhibition's photography, I used uh, film analogue. Uh, to capture the, both the landscapes and the rural lives in the exhibition, just purely because I enjoy using um, the process of working with film and the style it produces. I studied history of art at university, specifically uh, the British landscape paintings of the 19th and 20th century, so looking at paintings from Constable, Samuel Palmer, Richard Wilson, um, and using film replicates that very similar painterly effect, which I love and wanted to kind of convey over into the exhibition. Um, and taking, taking uh, photographs on, on the cameras, you don't know what you're gonna get until you've developed and scanned it. So it was all, always exciting to see the end result. The flower grower. Deep within the fields, now laid with summer hues, flushed in violet petal sprays and starred in pastel blues. How only she knows this life, a stoic country heart, living off the land, knowing the harrier and the lark. Lily and I both want to say a massive thank you to Oriel Davis for having this exhibition in their gallery. Stefan, the director, Neil, the gallery technician, Kate and everyone from the gallery. We also wanted to say a massive thank you to the Arts Council of Wales, without who we wouldn't be able to exhibit such a variety of works on show. Mm -hmm.